Regenerative farming is a way of growing food that helps the earth. It's about making the land better over time. Farmers focus on improving the soil. They also protect water and help plants and animals thrive. Regenerative farming is good for the planet and good for people. Industrial farming often harms the earth. It uses chemicals that pollute the water and air. It also damages the soil. Regenerative farming is different. It helps heal the damage caused by industrial farming. It's a way to farm in harmony with nature. Regenerative farming is about more than just growing food. It's about creating a healthy ecosystem. This system supports all life, from the smallest microbes in the soil to the largest animals on the farm. It's a holistic approach to agriculture. Regenerative farming is guided by a few key principles. These principles help farmers make decisions that benefit the land and the environment. By following these principles, farmers can create a more sustainable and resilient farming system. First, minimizing soil disturbance is crucial. Tilling the soil disrupts the natural structure and microbes that keep it healthy. Reducing tillage helps retain nutrients and moisture, creating a better environment for plants to thrive. Second, cover cropping is essential. Planting cover crops in between cash crops protects and nourishes the soil. These crops prevent erosion, add organic matter, and attract beneficial insects. They act like a living blanket, keeping the soil healthy year-round. Third, crop diversity is key. Growing a variety of crops instead of just one or two helps prevent pests and diseases. It also improves soil fertility and supports a wider range of beneficial insects and wildlife. Regenerative farming offers significant environmental benefits, helping to combat climate change and protect our natural resources. By prioritizing soil health and biodiversity, it creates a more resilient and sustainable agricultural system. One of the most important benefits is carbon sequestration. Healthy soils act like a sponge, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Regenerative practices enhance this process, helping to mitigate climate change by reducing greenhouse gases. Improved water cycles are another key benefit. Healthy soils with more organic matter retain water more effectively. This reduces runoff, prevents erosion, and replenishes groundwater, making farms more resilient to droughts and floods. Regenerative farming also promotes biodiversity. By creating diverse habitats with cover crops, hedgerows, and integrated livestock, it supports a wider range of plants, animals, and insects. This biodiversity is essential for a healthy ecosystem. Regenerative farming isn't just good for the environment, it also makes economic sense for farmers. By reducing inputs, improving yields, and accessing premium markets, it can lead to greater profitability and resilience. One of the main economic benefits is reduced input costs. Regenerative practices decrease the need for expensive synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides. By building healthy soil, farmers can rely more on natural processes, saving money on inputs, Another benefit is increased yields and profits. Healthy soils produce healthier crops with higher yields over time. This means more food to sell and greater profits for farmers who adopt regenerative practices. Additionally, there's a growing market for sustainably produced food. Consumers are increasingly willing to pay a premium for food grown with regenerative practices. This creates new market opportunities for farmers who adopt these methods. Section 5 social benefits, nourishing communities. Regenerative farming goes beyond the environment and economics, offering significant social benefits that strengthen communities and improve overall well-being. One of the key social benefits is healthier food. Food grown in healthy soils is more nutrient-dense. This means that regenerative farming can contribute to healthier diets and improve public health outcomes. Regenerative farms often prioritize local markets and direct-to-consumer sales. This strengthens community ties, supports local economies, and reduces the environmental impact of long-distance food transportation. Moreover, regenerative farms can serve as educational hubs. By showcasing sustainable practices and connecting with consumers, they raise awareness about the importance of responsible agriculture and environmental stewardship. Section 6. Core Practices. A Closer Look. Let's delve deeper into some core practices that define regenerative farming. These practices work together to enhance soil health, promote biodiversity, and create a more resilient farming system. 
No-till farming is a fundamental practice. By minimizing soil disturbance, it preserves soil structure, protects beneficial microbes, and reduces erosion. Farmers use specialized equipment to plant seeds directly into undisturbed soil. Cover cropping is another essential practice. Planting a diversity of cover crops between cash crops provides numerous benefits. These crops protect and nourish the soil, suppress weeds, attract beneficial insects, and improve water infiltration. Crop rotation involves growing a different crop in a particular field each year. This practice helps interrupt pest cycles, prevent nutrient depletion, and improve soil health by diversifying root systems and nutrient inputs. Section 7. Technology's Role in a Modern Approach Technology plays an increasingly important role in modern regenerative farming, helping farmers to monitor, analyze, and optimize their practices for maximum impact. Precision agriculture tools, such as GPS-guided tractors, drones, and sensors, allow farmers to apply inputs more precisely. This reduces waste, minimizes environmental impact, and optimizes resource use. Soil health testing has become more sophisticated. Farmers can now use advanced testing kits to analyze soil biology, chemistry, and physical properties. This data helps them make informed decisions about soil amendments and management practices. Blockchain technology is being used to enhance transparency and traceability in the food supply chain. Consumers can track the journey of their food from farm to table, ensuring that it was produced using regenerative practices. Section 8. Challenges and how to overcome them. While regenerative farming offers numerous benefits, there are also challenges that farmers may encounter when transitioning to these practices. However, with the right support and resources, these challenges can be overcome. One challenge is the initial cost of transitioning to regenerative practices. Investing in new equipment, cover crop seeds, or livestock infrastructure can require upfront capital. However, there are cost-sharing programs and grants available to help farmers offset these costs. Another challenge is the learning curve associated with regenerative farming. It requires a deep understanding of soil science, ecology, and holistic management practices. Fortunately, there are numerous resources available to help farmers, including workshops, online courses, and mentoring programs. Market access can be a challenge for some farmers, as the demand for regeneratively produced food is still developing in some areas. However, consumer demand is growing rapidly, and farmers can tap into this market by connecting directly with consumers through farmers markets, CSAs, and online platforms. Section 9. The future of farming is in our hands. As we look to the future, regenerative farming holds immense promise as a solution to many of the challenges facing our food system and the planet. By embracing these practices, we can create a more sustainable, resilient, and equitable food future. Consumer demand for sustainably and ethically produced food is growing rapidly. This creates a powerful incentive for more farmers to adopt regenerative practices and meet this growing market demand. Governments and policymakers are beginning to recognize the importance of regenerative agriculture. Policies that support regenerative practices such as carbon farming initiatives and subsidies for cover crops are being implemented in various countries. The future of farming is in our hands. By supporting regenerative farmers, choosing regeneratively produced food, and advocating for policies that promote sustainable agriculture, we can all be part of the solution and create a healthier and more vibrant planet for generations to come.